the third generation of the sedan debuted at the Los Angeles Auto Show in 2012, and Russian sales started in February 2013. We offered cars of the Kaliningrad assembly. Such a Cerato was equipped with 1.6, 130 horsepower, and 2 liter, 150 horsepower, petrol engines, which were combined with 6-speed manual and automatic transmissions. Both versions were not without problems. On the first machines with a 1.6-liter engine, liners were rotated. Koreans attribute this to the use of not the highest quality oil, although design miscalculations are not excluded. And on the 2-liter, for this happens much less frequently. In any case, you need to monitor the oil level and change it every 10,000 kilometers if you operate the car in a big city, and not every 15,000 kilometers, as prescribed in the official dealer bulletins. After 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers, the Cerato wears out the catalyst. Not only is it quite expensive in itself, about 46,000 rubles, in this state it can also damage the engine. The fact is that the converter cells made of porcelain are destroyed over time and their super hard remains are sucked back into the bowels of the motor, destroying the cylinder piston group. It is worth paying tribute to official dealers who repaired or changed engines, as well as catalysts, for free. But otherwise, there are practically no problems with power units. The timing mechanism uses a durable chain that nurses up to 200,000 kilometers or more. Both engines are designed for the 90-second gasoline, although the 95th Cerato rides better, and the consumption becomes noticeably more modest. At risk are crankshaft and camshaft oil seals, which can leak after hundreds of thousands of kilometers, as well as spark plugs and ignition coils, which are extremely sensitive to fuel quality. Transmission. Gearboxes are pretty reliable too. Although the MCP had one birth defect, corrosion of the input shaft, which was changed at the same time as the oil seal, and even carried out a recall campaign. If these parts were not touched on cars manufactured before August 2014, then the second owner will have to spend about 10,000 rubles on the upgrade. At the same time, you can install a repair kit for the backstage of the gearshift lever, for only 3,000 rubles. The automatic transmission is reliable. However, a strong guarantee of its longevity is an oil change after 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers of run. Moreover, it is desirable to change it along with the filter. True, the operation is quite expensive, an average of 20,000, since you have to remove or hang out the box with the engine. Also keep an eye on the condition of the CV joint anthers. If their rubber boots are worn and frayed, replace them immediately. Otherwise, you will have to spend money on the grenades themselves, which cost 3,500 rubles each. A piece. Suspension. But in the chassis, each worn element will declare itself with various knocks and extraneous noises in operation. For example, if deaf clanging sounds are heard on each bump in front, then it's time to change the stabilizer struts, 1,200 rubles each. This happens from 40,000 to 90,000 kilometers. It all depends on your driving style. At about the same time, squeals when turning the steering wheel, as with the spring that opens up, will announce the death of the support bearings of the struts, 1,500 rubles each. But wheel bearings are sometimes updated for 20,000 kilometers, true, there are also such drivers who go to the service to replace them even after 70,000 kilometers. The weakest point of the Cerato chassis is the rear suspension. It would seem that in a semi-dependent structure with the beam working in torsion, there is nothing special to break. However, due to incorrect settings of springs and shock absorbers after 100 to 120 km h, the car starts to behave inappropriately. The stern throws up on bumps, it starts to shirk left and right, and with the set speed, such liberties only intensify. Dealers do not always see this as a problem, and are in no hurry to solve it. They only offer the owners to install other springs with shock absorbers at their own expense, which usually happens. Body. But for free. Under warranty, some body parts are often repainted. The fact is that the Cerato's paintwork is frail, and the metal itself is not strong enough and resistant to corrosion. Moreover, a sedan can become chipped anywhere, from traditional sills and wheel arches to the roof and pillars. Most of all goes to the roof, because it is not initially protected from rust. Therefore, on some specimens, after the first winter, the paint on the largest part of the body near the windshield swells with bubbles. The windshield is also not durable, not only is it quickly rubbed with brushes, but it can also unexpectedly become cracked. And most often it bursts in the place of heating the wipers. As a rule, glass is also changed under warranty. 
By the way, after gluing a new one, do not be too lazy to check it for leaks. There are times when, due to poor quality installation, water enters the cabin through cracks with the body. Insufficient tightness caused fogging of the headlights and taillights. It seems to be a trifle, but pretty annoying. Breaking off door handles brought much more trouble. Defective parts installed before mid-2014 were replaced under warranty. So long. In the cabin, too, their sores. The steering wheel quickly peels off, the plastic of the front panel is scratched and the fabric of the seats wears out. There were cases when dealers changed the upholstery of the seats and the steering wheel several times under warranty. But electrical failures, sometimes power windows and multimedia, central locking and climate control are buggy, fortunately, they are not widespread. In general, despite minor flaws, a used Cerato is a good option. It's only better to choose a post-styling copy younger than 2016, when the main defects have already been defeated.